Hey guys, this is Shreyas and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to review the Pixel Buds Series A. I'm going to be calling it the Pixel Buds A throughout the video, so don't be confused. And these are a really interesting pair of earphones. It does a lot of things very well and not really great in the audio quality department, but let me explain you throughout the video. And just like the last video about the OnePlus Buds review, which you can check out over here in the card, you should ask yourself this question before buying any product which is that what is the one most important thing in that particular product category and I'm going to ask you guys the same about this particular category which is TWS earbuds. So let me know down in the comments below and if you find my reviews interesting and you think they offer value and help you make a purchasing decision do make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out next time I bring you a video. So with that said this is Shreyas and let's check that out. So I'm going to make a dedicated comparison between the Pixel Buds A and the OnePlus Buds Pro. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel for that because I think that will help clear out a lot more doubts putting them side by side rather than being objective about a particular device and they cost exactly the same unless you have some promotional offer. So let's start with the pricing which is 10,000 rupees and this is a typical Google product or something that people enjoy in the West mostly which is that not really heavy on the spec sheet but really fun and useful as a product. So in the US it's launched for $100 if I'm correct and I think that's a great price point for these because the original Pixel Buds had a lot of fancier features maybe and a few things which went for its build quality but they cut down on the right corners and bring the price down to $100 from $150 or $100. $70 if I'm correct and in India it is relatively a crowded market so I don't know how this will sit and fit in our uh, market over here. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna steer away from this uh, pair of earbuds just based on the specs on the paper and all the fancy features which other people market and Google doesn't. Hold on till the end of the review and make your purchasing decision by then. So let's start with the build and design and I feel these are built like a tank although it's made out of plastic compared to the OnePlus Buds Pro this build quality is way superior. I feel I'm getting my money's worth with this particular case. So first of all, it opens with a one, one hand. You can just flick it and it just opens up. That is really, really nice. Not just that, the hinge is so nicely spring loaded. Even if you give it a slight push and open it halfway and you let it go, it'll open up every time. And that's something really nice. And it looks and feels like of using a fancy cigarette lighter, if I'm correct. So that could be a USB as well. Apart from that, the case really looks nice. It's not very bright and white. It's a bit faded off. It's like eggshell white, if I may call. And I posted this on Twitter and people found it hilarious. By the way, if you're not following me on Twitter or Instagram, do check them out and follow me there. And I feel the, the build quality on these are really good. Not just on the case, it's also carries over to the buds. All of it is made out of pure plastic, but the construction of it and the design of it is really something I like. Quality of the ear tips I found to be better on the Pixel Buds A compared to the OnePlus Buds Pro as well. So that's something you should keep in mind. The buds are very accessible and towards the top of the case. I did not find it confusing to put the buds because like I said in the OnePlus Buds Pro, you had to twist them around. These just come out and go into your ears right in the same way. Next is the fit and comfort, which I am really happy about. I personally loved it. The ear tips are really nice and the design really helps the ear tip to go into your ear canal while keeping the touch sensitive panel towards the outside and reachable. I feel this can sit way inside your ear and give you a really good seal. Not just that, this particular wing tip is something that really helps the fit and I found it really easy to work out in these even compared to the OnePlus Buds Pro. The fit for me is personally really great. So I know a couple of people who found the wingtip annoying and was not as comfortable for them. So that's something you should keep in mind. Again, I would always recommend for these personalized products, you should always try them out. But yeah, OEMs make it tough for you so that you can't and make your purchasing decision either way. Moving on, let's get to the pairing process. Now, this is something I really loved. Honestly, all the other OEMs almost make some exclusive features for their for pairing it up with their smartphones. For example, Galaxy Buds and Samsung, OnePlus Buds Pro and OnePlus 
and so on and so forth. But Google, I found no skimping on features over here irrespective of the Android device you pair with. And that's something that really makes me happy. The pairing process is fairly simple. I covered it in my unboxing and initial impression video which you can check out over here for the Pixel Buds A. And I really, really loved it. It is very simple. Google Fast Pair is something that I will admire in any product that comes out with it. And trust me, it makes your Pixel Buds A feel like AirPods because what happens in Google Fast Pair is you can sync it with your Google account. So all of your Android devices synced with the particular Google account have act know that you own these particular buds. So whenever you pop the buds out nearby any of those devices signed in with the same Google account, it will pop up with the battery percentage regardless of it being paired to it even or not. Or the fast pairing prompt will come up in those particular devices and that's really good. It makes me feel that this is the convenience people face with airpods uh, with apple devices now if you have a lot of android devices in your family or for yourself or change them frequently this is something which really helps and this is something which i experienced on my very expensive wh 1000 xm force and i love it honestly speaking now the other thing which is important for TWS earphones is mic quality because we are taking a lot of calls, meetings, etc. online these days. And here's a mic sample for you guys from the Pixel Buds A. So here's a recording from the mic of the Pixel Buds A. Let me know how it sounds. Again, I'm in an ideal condition with only an AC going on and no other such noise because my room is closed off. But let me know how it sounds and in i'll put another comparison with the oneplus buds pro in the comparison video let's move on to battery life the buds give around five to five and a half hours of uh, usage based on the volume i usually listen to these at 70 to 80 percent volume because the volume is not as high compared to the oneplus buds pro but definitely at 100 percent volume it's not something you would often use just that the oneplus buds pro are too loud to begin with yeah i got decent enough battery life with these and the case charges the buds up almost five times so i think the battery life overall is pretty good you do have fast charging for the buds when you pop them into the case you can use the buds individually as well if you want to but the disappointing part is the charging because at 10,000 rupees this does not offer wireless charging now i don't know at least in india how many people have adopted wireless charging and expect it for me who has a lot of wireless charges i would have really appreciated the buds a to have wireless charging which is a disappointment but i'm completely completely okay because it fast charges via USB-C and it takes around 40 minutes for the case to charge up from 0 to 100. Now one thing which I really want to focus on is the controls. Now these have really nice touch sensitive pads. Obviously they look a bit weird. Again you do not have volume controls over here compared to the original Pixel Buds which is a bit of a disappointment but here's where it, things change because you have inbuilt Google Assistant and you can call the Assistant out to raise lower the volume and whatever controls you don't have on the touchpad you can do it via the google assistant and this is what makes my life easy especially on in the buds pro review i mentioned that they had the pinching mechanism of changing tracks playing pause etc which is not the case over here you can just tap it and the touch sensitive panel is really responsive so you have single tap to play and pause double tap to change track triple tap to go back and tap and hold and you can give your Google Assistant command from there and just let it go for the Google Assistant to understand and do your command. Not just that, if you just tap and hold and let it go, it will by default read out the time and give you a list of notifications you have on your phone. Now, this is something I really miss in TWS because again, my Sony's back there have Google Assistant built in as well and I am used to notifications being read out to me when I'm using those headphones so that I don't have to pop out my phone all the time while I'm enjoying music. And that's the thing which really helps me over here. I sometimes am very occupied and I listen to podcasts or music while doing things around the house and always reaching out for my phone or reaching out to the buds is not possible which these pixel buds they make it a breeze for me. So controls, I have no complaints. All your things and your phone being operated with a tap and hold or just calling it out hands-free controls now that's something you should think about when you are buying your next pair of tws let me know in the comments below how you find this not just that imagine this you're sitting in your room my ac lights everything in this room is smart home connected with my google home so i can just call the assistant out on these buds 
and ask them to turn things on or off or change the temperature of my air conditioner as well. Turn on studio lights. Turn on studio AC. Call mom. I am personally loving it. Another thing I do want to mention about the app, there is no particular app for Pixels, it is inbuilt. But for other devices, you do have to uh, download the Pixel Buds app. Now this app usually gets prompted when you're setting up your Pixel Buds A for the first time on a non-Pixel device. The good part is you can go into the Bluetooth menu and all the controls of the apps, you have a shortcut from there don't have to always open the app itself so things are controllable from your bluetooth menu and that's what i appreciate which is not possible when you pair the buds pro with any other non oneplus device which is a bummer to me and not just that another part which i really like is there is no cutting down on features if you use a non-pixel for smartphone and that's something i really appreciate the only thing that has been just introduced on android 12 beta which i'm using on my pixel is that you get a shortcut for the Pixel Buds A as a device on your home screen if you want to. Now let's come to the part which is sound quality. Now sound quality is a part where I know that a lot of people would want to be blown away but it's not something crazy. Now honestly I prefer these over my Galaxy Buds Plus. They don't sound as good as these two but if I do a small comparison between the Buds Pro this is where you won't really find these enjoyable because the Buds Pro really does have a good sound quality and will appeal to the masses as well. Not just that, this misses out on active noise cancellation as a whole, which we in the Indian market are spoiled by choice in the uh, market, but we do not have these on the Pixel Buds A. So that could be something that makes your purchasing decision towards the Buds Pro or Enco X maybe from Oppo. So this I think will make your purchasing decision very clear if sound quality is your top priority for the question I asked you in the beginning of the video. Another thing and feature I do miss out on the Pixel Buds A is an ambient mode or a transparency mode. So the Galaxy Buds Plus do not have active noise cancellation but it uses its external microphones to bring in ambient sound which is helpful when you're outdoors and working out in the gym or something like that. That's something I miss out and that is a feature I would have really liked. And that's my thing where I realized that sound quality isn't all for TWS. You need a lot more to make the experience good and over here my experience is extremely extremely good and I feel this is a true wearable. Why do I say so? Is because that a wearable is technically an extension of your smartphone which is the center of your ecosystem. And in the Buds A, you can use your smartphone without using your smartphone. Okay, that does not make a lot of sense. But you can use a Google Assistant over here and make a lot of actions done without taking out your smartphone. And I think that makes it a true wearable. So that's it for the Pixel Buds A review. Honestly, I really enjoyed these. And let me make a confession over here. If I was not alone lying down in bed and listening to just music, I was using the Pixel Buds A. Because I tend to listen to podcasts or music while doing stuff around the house or doing things on my PC, cooking sometimes. And that's when the OnePlus Buds Pro was just a pain to use. Whereas the Pixel Buds A was so user friendly, everything could be done with the Google Assistant on this. This product just made me happy. It is not the best in terms of sound quality and lacks a few features like ANC, wireless charging, ambient mode, which I would have liked personally, but it really makes up as a very convenient and useful device if you are traveling or, you know, doing something around the house. And this is what I wanted to make this particular review to make clear to all of you. If convenience is something that matters to you, go for the Pixel Buds A. You won't be disappointed if you do understand, use it and value it for what it is. Yes, the price point seems a bit high given the spec sheet 
and the spec sheet does translate into sound quality as well. I completely agree to that. But the advantages you get with the Pixel Buds A are non-existent in the Indian market in my opinion and this does not discriminate among Android phones at least which I really appreciate. So that's it for the Buds A review. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.